everybody! You might have seen our earlier video about the whole team visiting the Portland International Raceway for Arkhamoto's FUV and Friends event. If you haven't, you should check it out, and we'll link to it here and in the description below in case YouTube cards aren't working for us today. While we were there, I got a chance to get up close and personal with a really unique vehicle. This FUV has been outfitted with a system by Staffel Systems uh, that uses uh, torque vectoring on the front drive wheels to give you far superior uh, handling, especially at low speed. So one of the things that really struck me about the Arkimoto is that when you are sitting still, this handlebar might as well be locked in place. It is impossible to move. And that is, as you can see, just not the case here. So what's happening, and this is all happening in software, um, this Arkimoto doesn't have specialty hardware other than to sort of drive the software-based system. What's happening is that as I turn the wheel, the front wheels are forwarding and reversing in minute increments to allow the wheels to turn. And that is really incredible. It seems very simple at first blush, I'm sure that the actual programming on it in the background is incredibly complicated and I would never understand it, but the end result is a vehicle that solves probably the biggest problem for many people when you talk about Akimoto, and that is that at low speed and from a stop, they're rather difficult to maneuver. Uh, as someone with a bad neck and someone who has a lot of experience working in the disability space, this to me feels very accessible. This is something that someone with a mobility impairment could very easily, I suspect, use, uh, especially as the system gets more refined. Uh, this is something that someone who's a bit older or someone who just wants things to be easy. So the Arc Mode already has forward and reverse, which is, means parking lots are already easier than, say, on a motorbike. When you add in this, you get a vehicle that really approaches the accessibility of a car. And that's, that's really fantastic. I'm very interested in the idea of the Arkimoto as a fun, uh, exciting, and practical alternative to cars uh, for people with mobility impairments or balance impairments for whom, for instance, a motorcycle might not be appropriate, while still being very small, easy to park, and incredibly efficient and cheap to run but I could never have recommended one because of the weight of the steering. And this solves that in an incredibly elegant way that doesn't require major modification of the system. Staffel and Arkimoto are saying that when this technology is finished being refined, they will be able to retrofit through a software update so that every Arkimoto already on the road performs the way this does. So, for instance, uh, I was talking to someone earlier who has one of the very first Arkimotos, and he as his, one of his personal vehicles, and he was talking about the fact that, yes, you really do have to get the hang of giving it some throw and getting it rolling before you have any hope of turning. Someone else described it as being akin to a jet ski, where there's just no turning without forward momentum, and that's not always practical. And this solves that, and that, I love that, and this is such an EV thing. Because the only reason that's possible is that the Arkimoto is driven by two motors, one for each of the forward wheels. That's what makes this possible. If this was a rear-wheel drive vehicle, or if this was an internal combustion vehicle being driven off a single engine and a, and a transfer case, this wouldn't work. I can't even describe how different this already is. It's remarkable. I wish I had a GoPro on my face, but I don't. Oh, it's so... Oh no, that's properly weird. I'm sitting still, and when I when I turn the wheel, it moves sort of backwards and forwards a bit. Let's give it some beans, huh? Oh, this feels very different. I think this might feel more the way I wanted the Arkimoto to feel. It's got the maneuverability that I feel like it needs. It's got a level of responsibility. I don't feel like I'm working so hard on it. 
I'm really curious how it's going to handle when we hit the corner. I've, this is my third time out on an Akimoto and I haven't felt yet like I love these machines. But this time I feel like I could imagine falling in love with one of these machines. It's just, it feels easier. It still weights up a lot in a corner. Um, the steering really weights in the corner, very satisfyingly. I'm going faster than they'd really like me to go here, but... Ah. Yeah, this is... You definitely feel like this is an easier machine to live with. It's more stable, it feels more secure. It still feels like an Arkimoto, I suppose, should. Yeah, see this corner here, about 25 miles an hour. This is much more pleasant. And this area here, I've got 14 miles an hour, and I can really maneuver this in a way that a regular Arkimoto just can't do. This is the Arkimoto that it should be, and thanks to the nature of the software design, what we're being told is that this is what all the Arkimotos, even the ones that are already built, will be. And that's very exciting. And while the thing that excites me the most is this, you know, being able to turn the wheel when you're sitting still, on the track you also definitely feel the performance of this torque vectoring function. You, it hugs the road a bit better. When you enter into a low speed turn, you have a lot more confidence in it. And yet the steering still weights up really aggressively in a, in a high speed turn in a way that feels very, very nice. It's just, it's really cool to see. And it's not what we came here expecting to be excited about, uh, but of everything I've seen today, this right here, being able to do this, this is the thing that put a smile on my face today. That's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and our other two channels, Transport Evolve Take Two and Transport Evolve Shorts. We know that while a fair few of you are already subscribed, many more aren't, so go on, hit the bell and help us out. Let us know what you thought of this video below, and if you're not someone who likes the YouTube's comment section, because who does, then why not continue this on our Discord server? It's free and we'll leave the link below. Thanks on behalf of the entire TE crew, grab to the folk in my right for being our $15 to $49 a month patrons. Special thanks to our $50 a month patrons, Andrew Martin, Guido Drahada, Broffy Wolf, Anomalous Freak, Regine Fellows, Carl Hodgson, Gordon C, Paul Conway, Laura Sanborn, Anthony Coates, Denny Hyde, Sean Ueda, and Tazlin the Gong. And our deepest gratitude to our $100 a month patron supporters, John Lyons, Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, JP Fagerback, Will Graylin, and Ian. If you'd like to join the ranks of our wonderful supporters, you'll find links below to Patreon, Bitcoin, and Kofi. And of course, you can always buy your very own tea swag at our Redbubble store. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving!